Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use Tavern AI inside of Cobalt AI using Pagmillion Sticks Billion Parameter, I believe is the correct name. This right here is just a little Google Sheet. In short, it's got all the documents. All the, all the links will be down below. You should be able to just check them out in the description if you want to find them. I believe it's this one. All right. Okay, and so this is going to bring you to the Google Collab Research page. And this is where you're going to try, you're going to run the script. So you just go down here, you click down here. This shows you all the model types. And as you can see, Pegmillion isn't even in here, which was a big problem that I was having prior. It wasn't showing up. And that was the model that I wanted to run, right? Okay, so this is where you're going to get it from, right? And this is the 7 billion parameter model. This is the newest one. You can use the six. All you're going to do is you're going to click these two little squares here that's kind of overlapping, and it'll copy the text, right? Jump back to your original where you ran the script. Inside of Cobalt, go to the model, scroll down, add an item, and we're going to input the new model that we want. Boom. Now we can set it to Pegmillion AI, 7 billion parameter, and we can rerun the script for this. Connect to Google Drive. You're just going to do that real quick so that it can save all your settings. Um, while this is running, I'm just going to show you, you know, we're gonna, it's, you're going to wait for this to start up, and it's going to start downloading all the packages from that model. This may take a while, so. Okay, great. So once we get to this part here, basically, once the code's all finished, you're going to get a message that shows you a link. You're just going to click the link, and it's going to bring you straight to where you need to go. Cobalt will open up. This is basically going to be the, the AI that you were using, but we're going to change the UI because this is a little bit bare bones. So next up, you're going to go to the next link in the description, which is Tavern AI. And to get this, all you gotta do, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click code right here on the GitHub for Tavern AI, and you're gonna click download zip. Once you've completed that, it should show up in a folder for you guys. After extracting the file, you're gonna go to your Tavern AI, and you're gonna click start. And boom. Then it'll open up this page right here, and this is the a Tavern AI UI. Um, and all we need to do now is we need to get the AI connected to the UI. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of Cobalt AI, right? Copy the link from Cobalt AI. Go inside of Tavern AI, and you're going to go into settings, select API URL, and you're going to paste it in there and connect. Once you see this little red dot go to green, it's picking up the uh, AI system. So it's, you can see here that it's Pygmalion, 6 billion parameter. We're good. Everything is connected now. So we can get out of settings. And now what we can actually do is go into any one of these characters right here. Um, and you can actually download more characters if you'd like. And you can also create your own. I can show you guys how to do that later. But for the ease of the video, I'm trying to make it short. Uh, we'll just go with Aqua. Um, so this is stuff on the right. This is how, shows you how you make a character. And this on the left is going to be all your context. This is going to show you this AI is meant for like storytelling. It's like a storytelling AI, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to type something in response. Hey, uh, what's up? How's it going? Aqua. Oh, hello there. I'm doing well. You seem to be lost, dear. Why do you, why don't you tell me where you're from? And may I say, you, I look simply radiant today. Gives you a hug. So this is, if you don't know what this is, Aqua's from a show. She's from, uh, Konosuba. Yeah. So she's from Konosuba. And basically, someone developed this character for you, and then 
so that you can interact with them, right? Uh, and this is essentially what happens. So you can go and you can create your own characters and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. Uh, but I wanted to show people that there is a way to do this using Cobalt and Pygmalion because it took me a while to figure that out. It took me like a couple days um, to figure out that little how you can input whatever model you wanted and the uh, Cobalt would just pick it up and then download it from Hugging Face. Took me a minute to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you do it. Um, uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. I thought it was really, really cool. And that's how you make an uncensored AI. There.